So Patrick is actually coming to us saying that he is an alleged abuser in the relationship. I mean, I don't understand this whole thing. Why is he having this thing on tape? full confession that actually he is abusing his wife because now if we've been following their story his wife is not the first time that this whole thing is resurfacing that they're not actually happily married in the marriage because now um before this whole thing there was a separation some sort that was taking place between them and there was so much drama that was going on there um, he's been hurt so many times. We've seen this whole story dragging for quite some time. And then for quite some time, it did actually went to pause. And then we thought that they're actually finding each other. They are happy again. But you can see that it's not happening, actually. It's just not giving the tea. Now, my thing is that where is the family in this midst of things? Because these are young people. I mean, they should be having a family affairs if this whole thing is out of control the way that it is. Because now they are young adults, right? Being married and stuff like that. So they should be having someone that is consoling them within their families. I mean, why would they let things to escalate the way that they are? Because now, should anything happen to Patrick or should anything happen to his wife, now we'll be seeing parents coming in front saying that, um, our kid, I mean, our child was being um, treated this way and stuff like that. But right now, it's like they're not giving that support that they are supposed to be getting. Because now, I don't understand why would their affairs come to us as fans if it's not within the family, you know. So now, I'm like, what is really happening here? I mean, he's a public figure now, coming, confessing. Does he even know the weight of this thing that he's doing to us as fans, you know? Because now we'll be thinking that Patrick is someone who is um, classic, I mean, because of his work that we've known him for. Now he's coming with full confession that um, my wife is going through depression is my responsibility. Um, ever since the marriage has started, I haven't been faithful. Um, I'm the cause of this bitterness that is happening between me and her, you know, in full confession. So should anything happen to her himself, he's got a full confession saying that he's the cause of this whole thing. You know, what will happen then to him if, let's say, something happens to her? Because now someone who is dealing with um, depression the way that she is, maybe she is even suicidal. We don't know. So now him amounting to this whole thing saying that, I'm the one who's causing her this whole drama that she's dealing with. I mean, he's going to be the target. We are going to be there targeting him, him saying that um, he actually killed his wife, this and that. He's, he, he will just reach a point of no return. I don't understand this whole thing. Why is it even going the way that it is? Or maybe he's actually thinking that he, if he is coming to public the way that he's coming, um, maybe the wife will actually forgive him. I don't understand. Or actually the wife said, you agree to this whole thing that you've been abusing me and stuff like that. And so for us to move forward, I don't know, but the way that it is going, I don't like it. And um, it's giving me vibes of um, Patrick um, Shahi, the way that he was going on. If you remember him, actually, he did say that whatever that he was acting in those Soul City stuff and stuff like that, um, he was actually leaving the whole thing. He'd come from the set, go and abuse the wife. And then um, in the set, He'll be given the script of uh, actually changing, stopping being an abuser, but at home he wouldn't change. Now, where did that whole thing lead him to suicidal, right? I mean, to suicide. So, um, it's like also this Patrick now is giving the same vibe that Patrick Shai was giving actually. Because now, I don't see any point of return in this whole thing. I mean, he's a DJ. Obviously, there are groupies that he's hanging with out there. Um, there are fans that are always throwing themselves into him. Will he stop this career of DJing? Because now he's saying that he's actually um, thinking of rechanging the stuff. That um, I mean, he's, he, he wants to change being a better person. What does it, that actually mean? Does that mean that he will give up this career of DJing because now he wants to amend things with his wife? 
alive or he's just talking because now this whole thing obviously um his career of djing obviously has a part in this whole thing that he's um actually talking about that um ever since this whole thing of the marriage has started um He's been the one who's been an abuser. He's been cheating a lot, which of his career is actually allowing him to do that because of the time that is actually he's all out there having fun, you know, hanging out with people and stuff like that. Obviously, it is giving him a chance to do this whole thing that he's, he's actually saying that he's been experiencing. So now, this woman now that is married to him, I feel like this is a powerless person because now um, if her happiness entirely is actually, it, it, it depends on Patrick, you know, fully because now if, as you've been following their story, it's like she hasn't been happy entirely ever since they've been together. Uh, her, her whole happiness has been... Uh, um, I mean, has been tied up into Patrick. I don't know about her uh, much, what is really going on there, but she, she's given the, the vibe that she's never been someone who's um, equipped to be actually standing for herself because everything that has, has happened in that relationship has been uh, Patrick's fault. Even the, like the way things were way back, as I'm saying that, I've started to know them having a problem in their marriage long time ago and then in even that time she was saying actually patrick is the reason for her to to go and fall the way that she was falling and stuff like that what about her is it she's not even taking any responsibility in this whole thing actually everything is patrick's um fault now actually patrick is coming forward saying that okay Right now, I will take this load. It's mine. It's my junk. I will take it. Yes, I'm responsible for this whole thing that you're going through. And her, nothing. She's actually taking nothing in this whole thing. I just don't understand this whole thing. But what I see, I see danger, obviously. Um, I believe that um, if this whole thing is not stopped, if they're not getting help that they're supposed to be getting. One of them is just going to get hurt. It's either it's him is going to hurt himself or she is actually going to hurt herself. I don't know what is going on. Where are the parents in this whole thing? As I've been saying, you know, someone has to do something about this whole thing because you can see that this whole matter is getting out of their hand. I don't see them handling it any better so they really need someone to come on board and help them with this whole thing okay we'll see you next time just tell me your comment um what do you think about this whole thing this story is getting to just get out of the hand okay we'll see you next time bye